everything seemed to go very uh, smoothly and you know you love to see a horse uh, work in a fast time and look to be going um, slower and, and that's what it appeared um, to me visually anyway so uh, couldn't be happier and of course seemed to come back fine and now it's just a matter of keeping him um, happy and, and sound through next weekend. I suppose we're um, happily surprised that he came along quickly at the end but you know when you're a tap it um, out of soothing touch and have to grade one, multiple grade one winner and you're as good looking as he is obviously the expectations were very high um, ever since he was born and um, and the expectations were very high last summer when he ran very well at, at Saratoga and he never had anything major wrong with him afterwards it was just a chin and a bit of heat here and there and um, that uh, just held off until we got him down to, to Florida and at that point in time I think we had the um, derby put on the back burner but he just uh, once he got going and got back in a rhythm he just came forward very 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 quickly and, and everything has um, went so well since then that um, we just let the horse um, take the ball and run with it and and here we are and I think it's, it's the horse that has been telling us that he's good enough to be here so uh, that's a nice position to be in. Yes and I assure there was absolutely no pressure from the Jaguar side to be here or to go here it was all um, entirely up to Bill and if he was comfortable being um, in the position of you know, aiming for the Derby it's a, it's a tough race to get to let alone to um, to win and we've had horses that we hoped that would be contenders but it's um, one of those races that you know if you stub your toe any time after about August, September, their two year old year, uh, you're not going to have to give a horse a little bit of a break. At that point in time you just get behind and um, you know it's, uh, it's a difficult race to get to and an even more difficult race to, um, to win so we're uh, delighted that we're here even though it's been a long time. But I mean obviously it's not something that um, maybe it would be considered bad luck to um, to talk too much about it, but it, we're all very aware that it is the elephant in the room. It's one of the big races um, that we want to win that we haven't won. And uh, so, for Prince Gallant's sake, yes, I think it would give all of us as the management team a tremendous amount of satisfaction to be able to provide him with a Kentucky Derby winner. Tremendously well with Arrogate. He has um, 70 something mares in foal already, and obviously, they are a who's who of magnificent uh, race mares and magnificent producers and um, so he's a very lucky guy um, in all of the players that he gets to hang out with every day. Yeah. Is, is Songbird, has she been, been pronounced in full? She's in full as well. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah.